So which bone do I want to pull this one from? Well, let's see what happens when I do it as a cross. So I'm coming across now with it. I want to see, okay, see that pushes it in. Well, let me try the pelvis. Uh, the pelvis kind of works pretty good with it. So I'll just, maybe I'll grow my brush up some so I get a larger grip and I don't have to smooth it, smooth it as much. All right. Uh, hmm. No, I don't like that, so I might want to smooth that down some. Change that to a smooth. And uh, what do we got going on here? See if I can get a better... Uh, see how it kind of wrinkles over like it does? I don't like that, so... I'm going to try to get that back to where it's not doing that. Hmm. Let's try this bone here, since that's really where it was associated with. And uh, smooth it a little bit. And maybe I can grip it, you know, and pull it from this bone some. There we go. That's kind of a better curve on it. Very nice. Alrighty. Now I can see that it needs smooth. It's kind of jagged right in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and smooth that. So I'll check the box, set it to a 1, kind of maybe grow this up some more and see if I can smooth this. Okay, it doesn't seem to smooth with this bone very well. So let's try the pelvis bone and see if we can smooth it with the pelvis. Yeah. It's a little better. Well, let's try some cross smoothing. Yeah, nothing seems to really have an effect on that area. Oh, I did. Looks like I accidentally pulled that out when I was smoothing. Hmm. Let's try the pelvis. I think is where I pulled this out from. I'm shrink my brush down. You can't see it very well, but there is like a little spot right here where it's still poking through. I can see it. I don't know if you can. Uh, yeah, I'll grow that up. Whoops. Always make sure I set that to a point zero two. <laughs> there we go. That gives me a better look. Uh, I think I could smooth here out a little bit. So I'll uh, let's check that to a smooth. Uh, maybe not to that bone. Let's try a different bone. There we go. That's very subtle, but it did make a difference. Alright, so that looks pretty good. I'm out of the body. So now let's uh, check another frame. Now you'll notice when you fix one frame, sometimes if I go back, I'll notice that I screwed up another frame. You know, luckily it doesn't look like I did. So I'm zero, I went up to six fixed everything in six. Now let's uh, kind of check the frames in between in those areas and it looks like it's fine. Uh oh, frame seven. No, frame seven is fine. Let's check the next frame. Oh, right here. A little bit poking through. So, uh, let's try the pelvis first before I try anything else. Now you notice the reason I'm choosing the pelvis even though this is kind of associated with this leg and I'm choosing the pelvis is the pelvis is the middle. It's kind of a uh, negotiation between this leg and this leg. Since this kind of sits in between both the legs this section does, I'm choosing something that's in between both those legs as opposed to choosing that leg. I'm trying to find something that can negotiate between the legs which would be the pelvis. So I always try to go, if it's in the middle, I try to go for a bone that's in the middle. You know, so it negotiates between this bone here and this bone here. That's why I'm always choosing the pelvis whenever it's something that's in the middle. Instead of going directly to that, to that bone, I'm trying this one. Or I'm trying the bone across from it, so it's kind of a cross negotiation. All right, so instead of choosing that bone, if it's in the middle... I'm going to try to choose something that's not in the middle, first something that is in the middle, then I'm going to try to negotiate with something that's definitely not in the middle. All right, so it's a cross, a center negotiation or a cross negotiation. Help me using the word negotiation isn't too confusing, but you're negotiating the weights of these vertices in between each bone. It's, it's a negotiation which one gets to control more of that vertice, you know, in this motion of the bone. So just something to keep in mind. So I'm going to, uh, with my pelvis, I'm going to try to pull out with it. All right, so I'm going to go to a uh, 0 0.02. And uh, yeah, that worked out really good. But you know what? 
and I probably should have done more. Let me hit Control Z. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger and go like that. That'll give me a smoother. Looks like, uh, yeah, like that. There we go. That looks nice. And you notice I'm kind of shaping my mesh too while I'm doing this. It's just something to keep in mind. You aren't shaping your mesh, but you are. It's really hard to explain. Um, you are making changes in the uh, shape of your mesh sometimes whenever you're uh, doing this whole process. I'll check another spots on the mesh. Looks fine. So let's go back. Make sure I didn't screw anything up. Mm, I might have given too much. See, I know it kind of folds outwardly. Maybe I could smooth that. Mm, that looks all right. I gotta be perfect. I just don't want it poking through the body. All right, looks good. Let's check the next frames. And voila! Look, the back side of this skirt is now complete. You know, it's awesome. Looks like really good. Looks like a very good fluent movement of a skirt. Just by using some very simple pushing and pulling methods with these weights, uh, I didn't have to add any skirt bones. And even though this is a skirt, uh, those skirt bones are not necessary. You know, uh, usually skirt bones are not necessary unless you have something. A lot of times, the front of the skirt it can be a necessity. Uh, if your skirt is too close to the body prior, remember how I showed you the original? Uh, sometimes you don't even need a skirt bone. Most of the uh, outfits in Skyrim don't use a skirt bone. Some do, but the majority of them don't, uh, which is kind of interesting. It's called a skirt bone, but most skirts don't even have them. Armored skirts, I've noticed, are the ones that usually have them. Um, stuff like the hide armor. Uh, and if you really want to get a quick, uh, you can try to, you know, when we skinned to the clothing, you could have tried skinning to a hide armor. You know, the female torso is one that has it for female armors, which I imagine the male torso does too. But it's really a, a non-essential bone uh, when doing skinning of skirts. Um, you, you'll probably need it uh, if you do a very long skirt, something that comes down past the knees. You'll probably have to add the skirt bones or use a pre set up uh, you know so like if I was doing something that was a really long dress instead of importing the female torso I would have imported like the hide armor skin to it now that takes a lot of work alright and you pr always always remove the bones from the back okay take those back bones in this area and just 86 them like by clicking it you know and then I'd go like let's say this was a back skirt bone I'd go up here and I'd click remove and I'd get rid of all three of the back skirt bones because you really only want to deal with ones in the fronts and sides back skirt bone can cause your armor to look like it has a tail I'm just throwing that out there little pro tip uh, anyways back on track here I can see that this skirt seems to move really good but now in the front everything up to this point here Let's see, this looks like it has the most poking through. I got some right here, and I got some right here, so I need to fix that. Now, this is one of those dangerous areas. I'd rather skin this to the pelvis as opposed to trying to hit those because it kind of is in the middle. So I'm going to see if I can pull this out with the pelvis bone because I want to negotiate with this bone and this bone prior to forcing it to this bone. All right, because it's on that side, but it's a center uh, setup. Just want to get that drilled into your head, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to suck that out with the pelvis. So I'm put 0 0.02, and that's kind of low for the pelvis, but yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, it's going to push it in instead of doing what I want. See, it's pushing it in instead. That's no good. I'll have to go to that uh, bone there. Now I'm going to try to come from way over here because that's in the center. I'm going to try to pull this out to try to negotiate with it. Well, I'm going to try to, basically what I'm saying is I'm going to try to avoid the center as much as possible because if I screw around with this center too much, it's going to screw this leg up when this leg comes up because we're not using skirt bones, all right? So I'm going to be very careful about it. All right. Maybe I want to careful here. Um, let's see what happens when I hit that with the pelvis now. 
No, pelvis is not helping this matter. All right, let me see what happened because I done messed with it over there. Okay, looks like I got lucky. You know, you got it. Uh oh, right here. Still got some problems. I kind of hit that area. Let's see if I can fix that with the. Well, we already decided we couldn't fix that with the pelvis. I gotta be very careful here. Hmm. Almost guaranteed it's gonna poke through this leg now. Ah, the joys of weight painting. <laughs> Alright, I put it back in smooth because I did all that pulling, so now I need to smooth it out so I'll make it look nicer. Hmm, here we go. And uh, again, this is a very long process. Oh, I got lucky. Look, it didn't poke through. Very nice. See that? Very fluently moving skirt. It's very, very nice. What do we got here? Is that just, uh, uh, that's just the way the light's hitting it? There is a small spot right here. Again, I plan on moving this skirt out just a tad bit, and that'll actually fix that right there, which I'll show you here in a bit when we're all done. Uh, it's always good to move your skirt out just a tad bit from whatever you weight painted it as because you have those areas uh, that are very hard to deal with. All right, I can kind of see some jaggedness here. Let's see if I can smooth that a little bit. Oh, looks like it. There. Kind of helped a little bit. All right, so I saw, still saw over here we had some poking through in this hip area. So, and again, all I'm doing is just moving in between the frames here and finding them, you know, where it's poking through and uh, deciding can I smooth it to fix it or should I pull it, which we already checked all the smoothing first, so we already know that it's going to be a pull, you know. And usually it's pretty easy fix. All right, this is the pelvis. And again, I know I'm making this look easy and you're probably sitting there at yours and wanting to punch your uh, computer screen. It'll get easier over time. You'll you'll get better at doing this. So don't get discouraged. Just keep working with it. You know, if you have to reimport your mesh or just make your mesh over again if you have to. I recommend practicing this on just some bull crap skirts like I'm doing now. Just make yourself a simple skirt and practice waiting it until you get uh, really good and then working on your actual meshes you know just a pro tip right there's good idea practice makes perfect so oh, I want to do that one that looks good let's try another frame I'm just checking the frames in that area very nice looking skirt I mean, very very fluent I might actually keep this thing <laughs> I might maybe put it in one of my mods this is a really really fluently moving skirt I really like the way this one came out so all right there we go very good movement all right let's check another animation because this is just the running animation so now let's see what happens whenever uh, we're doing the other animation now with skirts or any kind of legs really there's only two animations you gotta check the running forward and the empty idle or the sneaking idle I'm sorry so which that's the next one we're gonna check so we're up here we're gonna go to file we're gonna select import and we're gonna select sneak empty idle dot kf and go ahead and import that select import now make sure your body doesn't look all weird. Like right here, see this? This is not going to give me accurate data. I need to re-import. And you go ahead and file and import again. And select my sneak empty idle. It's just buggy. No, see, no good. File, import, sneak empty idle. And I'm glad you guys actually get to see it scurrying up. There we go. That actually looks right. Okay, so now I can get some accurate data out of this animation. So I'll see you here in a second.